if you do Sober October or Dry January, or you just want to cut down on boozing, it's hard to beat the old seltzer and bitters combo. You're probably familiar with Angostura, but there's a wide world of bitters out there, and some of them are only bitter by name. This hellfire shrub is more earthy and spicy. A dropper full in a glass of seltzer water with a squirt of agave lime syrup won't have the exact flavor of a spicy margarita, but it does satisfy the ritual mysticism of an artfully crafted cocktail. If beer is more your style, non-alcoholic beers have come a long way, but they still exist in this uncanny valley of almost there but not quite. Instead, try this new product segment called Hop Water or Hop Tea. It's not trying to be malty at all. It's more like if LaCroix had a hops flavor. Try Lagunitas for the most familiar flavor, a couple hop larks if you want to taste the difference between different hop varieties, or hop water if you... Eh, I don't really get who these are for. They add fruit flavors and ashwagandha to it. The taste is totally different. The main thing you got to do is identify what it is you like most about drinking at home. Is it tinkering with the balance of complex spirits, or is it crushing five cold ones after work?